Samastitihi, feet together, front edges of your mats. We shall loosen up with our sun salutation warm up sequences. So take a couple of breaths, you close your feet, you're broad across the chest and the shoulders, you're rolling them down, you're lifting your sternum, you're tucking the tien. Surya Namaskar, Ekam inhale. Reaching up into the fingertips, and way. A graceful swallow diving into our Uttanasanas, tucking the chin, looking to knees, Trini, lift the chin and chest, long spine, Chatwara knees, bend, flat hands, back we go, Chaturanga, Dandasana, tuck in the elbow, scooping through, a nice deep upward facing dog, drop to the knees for Cobra, should you need to, toes to under, sit bones up and back and just ease your feet apart, hip distance, flatten the hands, spread the fingers, Looking all the way through the feet towards the back edge of the mat. Nice long diagonal stretch through the spine. That's one. And two. Steady deep even breathing. Three. Four. Okay, that's five. Look forwards, bend the knees, step a jump. Close the feet with the chin up. Let the exhalation tuck the chin in towards the knees for your Uttanasana. Nava. A graceful reversal. Swallow dive stretching fingertips. Sama steady he. Standing tall or equal. Let's go again. Nay, come inhale. Reaching up. We'll do 2A and 2B before we move into the, the second series. 20. Inhale, head up. Exhale, back we go. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog. On the inhalation, downward facing dog on the exhalation. Steady into breath, steady into body, steady into gaze. That's one. And two. Breathing deeply. Three. Four. And five. Bend the knees, step a jump forward. Lift the chin. And then long exhalation, tucking chin in down into Uttanasana. And then sink into the feet, stretch through and up into the fingertips with the head tilting back. Summer stitty he. Let's just do one of B. Okay, so bend the knees. And then ready, let's go up into Utkatasana. Akam inhale. Dvue. Guide your bodies down gracefully into Uttanasana. Guide them up into Uttanasana B. Trini Vinyasa. Guide it back into Chaturanga. Chatwari Vinyasa. Guide it into Up Dog Pancha Fifth Vinyasa. It's Down Dog. Shat Six. Deep, steady, even. Breathing Sapta. Step your right foot forwards. Get the left heel down. Up and at them for Vida Padrasana. And then release your breath, your body down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Tuck in the elbows. Upward facing. Downward facing. Ready for left side, left foot forwards. Right heel planted. Up and at them we come, bit of Badrasana. Exhale. Down we go, Chatwari. Upward facing. Deep breath. Downward facing. Long exhalation. Breathe, one, and two, three, steady, deep, even breathing, four, okay, panchadaja, step a jump, close your feet, head up, Shodhaja, falling down, Uttanasana, bend the knees, Utkatasana, Sattaraja. Stand up straight into Sama, Stiti, He. Are we ready? Okay, so we'll do kind of variations of some of these postures and we'll just kind of cherry pick uh, a few from the sequence. So let's vinyasa down from Surya Namaskar A. So I come inhale, and the exhale, took the chin, head up tree, Nietzsche Twari back. Nice and steady, up dog. Yes, they are seagulls. I am, uh, I am living at the seaside, 
downward facing right we're going to do pashasana we're going to do a variation yeah so look to the hands bend the knees step a jump forwards okay now close your feet bend your knees you're squatting down okay and then from here just have your right hand behind you yeah and then get your left elbow bend it the outside of the right knee if you can drop the heels down so it's kind of a bit of a squat twist if that's a little bit too difficult you can just stay on the balls of the feet with the elbow across gaze down to the right or over the shoulder five deep breaths one two try it with heels down if you can if it's just too much too intense just turn the balls of the feet three four breathing and five release the elbow take your time let's go to the other side so there's no vinyasa there's no jump back in the pashasana in fact traditionally you do this side first but anyway let's go right elbow bends to the outside of the bent left knee staying on the balls of the feet to see if you can get the heels down try and keep the shoulders broad and open gaze back over the shoulder just down to the left five deep breaths one two three four okay that's about five breaths release unwind are we ready let's place the hands step a jump back chaturanga dandasana tuck in the elbow scooping to the upward dog releasing to the downward facing look up to hands bend the knees step a jump forwards we're going to do the crown chasana posture so straighten out the legs we're going to bend this right leg up and back first now if this is a problem to do this position in the leg the tirianga leg you can do the janu shishasana yeah so if you prefer this the, the hip and knee combo is a little bit tight do janu otherwise right leg is bent back sit bone inside of heel okay bend up the left knee grab your left foot slowly lift the leg into the air point the toes if you can straight leg feet's too much keep the knee bent you can even grab the calf should you wish it's a five deep breaths you can look to the foot you can tilt that back and look up to the sky and i am outside so i am looking at the sky five deep breaths one two deep steady even breathing three four and five careful you can release that right leg take a breath cross roll and breathe missing the jump backs when you want to miss them out absolutely fine scooping through and up releasing to the down step a jump forwards let's sit down careful straighten out the legs and then the other side so you're choosing tiriangle leg bending it up and back if that's problematic do the janus shasana and bend the knee out to the side okay bend up your right knee grab onto your right foot and slowly straighten up into this right leg as much as you can but not the expense of either a crunching the shoulders or b rounding into the back try and keep a, the black back fat, flat and straight as best you can breathing deeply bend the knee should you need to gaze to the foot or gaze up udva drishti five deep breaths please that's one and two steady deep even breathing three four okay that's about five breaths let's release the foot take a moment to release the left leg crossing rolling breathing going through our system of releasing the posture from the body using this up and down dog combination so from here we're going to do a couple of the back bends starting with shalabhasana so just step back drop to knees and drop down onto the front of the body and we're going to do a variation of okay so interlink the fingers behind the back clasp the hands together and then gently straighten the arms lift the chest feet together lift the feet up try and keep the legs straight you see you're not bending the knees yeah legs straight chest lifts feet lift 
Lift the chin, look forward, straighten the arms. One. Two. Steady, deep, even breathing. Three. And four. And down we go. Thank goodness for that. Place the hands underneath the shoulders and push up through into an upward facing dog. Toes to under. Push back through the sit bones for downward facing dog. Loosen off shoulders, neck and face. Take a breath. Let's do Dhanurasana. The bow posture. Down we go. Chaturanga. Sink to knees. Down to belly. Take a breath. And bend up the knees. Reach back and grab the feet all the ankles even the shins and let's keep the knees apart the kind of the the ashtanga kind of version is to kind of try and keep the knees and feet close together but let's just have the knees around hip distance and lift up from here five deep breaths one feel like you're lifting the knees up away from the floor two three breathe keep lifting those knees away from the floor four and then down we go release relax again from a, a back bend into another back bend of the upward dog and then we tuck the toes under and we'll take an extra breath or two in the downward facing dog let's put in bakasana crow posture just to really yank it to the max so from your down dog just walk your feet behind the hands bend the knees so bakasana flat hands bending the elbows back trying to get the knees into the upper part of the arm yeah if that's a bit problematic you can kind of grab onto the upper arm with the inner knee and you're lifting like this otherwise knees pressing into the upper arm and lifting like this can we do five breaths one two try and straighten up the arms if you can three four and then if you can jump back jump back otherwise drop the feet take a breath chaturanga dandasana upward dog downward facing and then look to hands hopping forwards sitting down let's put in badadadrasana a nice twist so we're kind of cherry picking postures now so we're gonna do left foot left foot so let's see how we go here right leg is gonna bend back okay I'm just gonna turn and face the camera you see what I'm doing and then you're gonna place the left foot just inside of the right thigh yeah now if you have the flexibility in the hip and the knee you can place the left foot into the half lotus yeah but if that's kind of awkward the knees lifted yeah, don't worry, just keep it on the floor, okay? So I'm gonna show you the floor ver version first. Right hand grabs left knee, yeah? Right hand grabs left knee, left hand behind you, lift the chest and turn and look over your left shoulder, okay? One variation, if you've got your foot in half lotus, you can still stick with that variation, hand on knee, or perhaps you can reach around. This left hand binds the left foot behind the back with your right hand tucked underneath the knee yeah gaze back so you can be here 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 breathe one keep the shoulders broad and open two steady deep even breathing three four and then release unwind unravel the body step back into Chaturanga Dandasana with facing inhale downward facing exhale and then a little hop skip and a jump let's sit it down take a moment to stretch out the legs let's do it the other side so left leg is bent up and back again just the variation keeping the foot on the floor inside of the left thigh left hand takes right knee right hand behind shoulders broad gaze back over your right shoulder if the knee and hip allow the foot is on the thigh but you can still kind of just keep the hand on the knee otherwise binding it that's an option and tucking the hand underneath left hand tucks underneath right knee remember so here 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 or here breathe 
one, don't force the bind. Don't force the half lotus either. Keep the foot on the floor if that feels better. Two, deep, steady, even breathing. Three, and four, and five. Good, release, unravel, cross roll and breathe. And that'll take us into Gomukhasana. We're gonna Gomukhasana and Padigasana. Our final two postures for this kind of section of the sequence. Bend, step or jump forwards, and then sitting down. Okay, Gomukhasana. So you can start with straight legs, right foot outside of left knee, bring that left foot back, and then, so you're on the outer edges of both feet, yeah? So lift onto the outer edges of both feet, so you've got your right heel kind of just to the outer side of the left hip, and your right heel, left heel outside of the right hip, that makes sense. Sit up nice and tall, interlink the fingers, so your knees are kind of stacked on top of each other. Interlink the fingers, grab the right knee, lift the chest, tuck the chin, five breaths here, shoulders broad and open. That's one, Gomukhasana. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. And five. Releasing. Now, second part. Got the right leg top, so we stretch up into the right hand, bend from the elbow, and bring that right hand down the back. Now you're gonna take the left hand up behind, and you're gonna try and bind the hinds behind the back. And don't worry if you can't quite reach. If you've got a belt handy, you can use the belt. Otherwise, just grab the top and bottom of your shirt. Yeah, that's fine if you're not binding. And then you're trying to point the right elbow upwards and tilt the head back and Udva Drishti look up. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three, steady deep even breathing, four, and then release, unwind. Let's unravel and vinyasa, cross roll and breathe and then we'll go to the other side. There is a way of kind of jumping out of that position, but we're just gonna make it slightly easier on ourselves and not do that, okay? Straightening out the legs again. Left foot now outside of right knee, right heel slides back. And then at this point, you're just turning onto both outer edges of the feet. And this left heel outside of right hip, right heel outside of left. Now you've got the left knee on top. Hopefully you've got the left knee on top. Interlink your fingers, grab onto your left knee, roll back the shoulders, lift the, sh lift the sternum and tuck the chin. Five deep breaths here, if you please. That's one. Nice tall spine, two, breathe, three, and four, and good, and then release, okay, loosen up the shoulders, stretch up into your left hand, bend from the elbow, drop this left hand behind the back, point the elbow up, stretch and reach that right hand up, see if you can bind, don't worry if you're not binding, just grab the top and bottom of your shirt or even just grab yourself a belt or whatever you've got. A sock will do. Five deep breaths here. One. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. And then five. Release the bind, release the shoulders, release the legs cross, roll and breathe. And let's put in Parigasana just because we can. Gate posture. Just zipping through up and down dog and then jump and sit down. Sitting down, stretch the legs. Okay. A lot of postures where we're bending the right leg up and back and you can actually do it. Again, if this is problematic, you can do the Janu. So you've bent the right leg back. Can you get this left leg Kind of, you should have a kind of a right angle between the right and left leg, yeah? With this right leg bent back. Can you reach down? Now with your left palm facing up, reach down so your left hand takes the instep of the left foot, yeah? With the palm facing up, reach here. And then stretch the right arm up 
and just reach across. Don't allow the arm to drop in front of the face. If you can, reach across to grab the outside edge of the foot. So your right hand grabbing the outer edge of the left foot. And if you can't reach that far, you can just kind of lean across. You can even just keep this left hand on the floor with the palm facing up, yeah? Be here. Here, 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 here. Variations. Not levels, variations. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. And then we leave it out carefully. We loosen off, we release. We'll put in another little vinyasa sequence. And then we'll go to the other side. Up on the inhalation, down on the exhalation. And then a little step or jump forward, sitting down. Okay, ready. Left leg bends back. Or the jano. Right leg out. Don't worry if it's not if you've not got a protractor handy, you've not got the, the exact 90 degree angle. <laughs> 85 or even 80 will do. Okay, so right palm facing up. You can have that back of the hand just inside of the right knee and just slide it down. Yeah, don't force it. If it feels too much to grab the instep of the right foot with the hand, then just keep it on the floor. Left arm across. Don't allow the arm to drop in front of the face. Here or here or even here. Yeah, find that sweet spot of stretch, that comfortable place, that effortless place to stretch to. Five deep breaths, deep breathing. Keep the shoulders loose. One, and two, breathe. Three, and four, and five left arm lifts you out loosen shoulders and then release the legs and then let's put in one last cross roll and breathe to release the posture from the body up dog to the down and then to finish this first sequence off let's just sit nice tall spine that's a five long deep breaths